How are we doing, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of NASCAR's DFS Pick Show. I'm your host, TK Nation 47, bringing you guys another uh, NASCAR truck slate. I'm joined here with Mega Ruler 31. Um, yeah, so we're into the playoffs. We got two races left for the trucks. Uh, break it down the race, uh, the playoff race scenario, real quick for us. Yeah, so this is the cutoff one. The final four will be determined for Phoenix. They skip next week with Bristol. So Grant Amfringer has to win the race to get in. He's so yeah. far out. You've got about three guy or four guys within six points of making the fourth and final spot, and that's Ben Rhodes, Chris and Actress, um, Stuart Friesen, and John Hunter Nemechek. You have Ty Majeski, who's won one. He's locked yeah. in. And then Zane Smith is about 20 points up, and Chandler Smith is pretty, like, about 40. So I, I think he'll make it in on points, no question whatsoever. Even yeah. if he on the first lap. Yeah, yeah. I think Zane Smith's pretty safe. Keep four wheels on the ground. That might change his strategy a little bit, uh, especially at that price tag. But, um, yeah, I, I agree. It's in finger win, and then everybody else is going to be fighting for some stage points here. Um all right, so that being said, let's let's hop right to it and start with our pole sitter, Ryan Priest, 10-5. Very experienced driver here. It's a track where you run up against the wall. Um, mm -hmm. You know, tire wear is pretty decent here, too, and he's experienced driver, good at all these things. 13th of practice, I don't know, practice data looks kind of weird, but obviously yeah. qualified well. He's in a very good truck. Um, I think he's going to go out there and lead a bunch of laps to begin this, so... Um, really like him as a prime play yeah anytime priest has been in that 17 truck this year he's absolutely crushed right he's won a few races um he i'm trying to look back here at what he's won this year uh do you know off the top of your head no. by chance i'm just trying to double check because i know he's won um he I remember he was really close to it, and then Majeski take him out of that one race, and then he was like, hey, I'm trying to race, you know, for my career to get back into things. It wasn't Majeski. I think it was um, Hosevar. And then he won, like, a couple races after. I think he won Nashville. That's what he won, which is somewhat of a comparable track in ways. Yeah. So yeah. I think he's going to be – he's probably got a good truck here today uh, or for tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, ben Rhodes, Thor Sport in the 99. Usually uh, shows up around playoff time. He he does, but like he was in great form. He won the Bristol race on dirt, and then his, he just slowly like slid away, barely made the playoffs, but he's hung around. So I yeah. think he's good, but I just like 14th practice, 10 average here. Second's a little high for me. I don't think he gets out and gets ahead of Priest, so I'm not super um, interested in cash. GPP, I'm fine. Yeah, I didn't perform too well at Kansas, another mile and a half. So um, kind of GVP to fade for me. Matt to Benedetto, winner at Talladega. Any any love here? Um, I think that's his peak of the year here. Yeah. Like, price isn't good. Like, he's got experience on this track and everything, but it's not really, like super fit to his style. Uh -huh. um, decent in practice. Finishes just outside the top 10. The truck had some mechanical issues, so GPP. Chandler Smith, 10-7. Uh, don't mind him here. Well, here's the thing. He's probably locked into the, the playoffs pretty close here. Mm -hmm. He's leaving this team to go to Xfinity to take over Allgaier's, or not Allgaier, yeah. um, AJ Allmendinger's ride because yeah. Allmendinger's doing full-time cups. So I don't know like how much support they throw behind him here. And he's always been like volatile. He either wins the race or he wrecks on lap three. So... Got to say GPP, especially at the price. I dig it. Next up, we have Christian Eckes in the 90 or 9,700 in the 98, starting fifth. Really like these. Uh, Thor Sports, strong program, cash, um, first in practice, 11th overall average. I think he's a safe play at 9,700. Finished sixth in that same Nashville race that Ryan Priest won. Uh, in two stages, he was in the top five uh, or top 10, top five in the second stage. I think he has a pretty strong mile and a half uh get, um set up anytime he comes to these um you know high tire wear tracks so i i like Akis tomorrow i think i'm going to be in on him as like my driver too uh next up we have zane smith uh he's not guaranteed but he certainly is close right yeah and i think you can play him in cash also the price tag is a little hefty here so i i think i'd rather um 
you're going to have to come down to the choice between a couple of these 10K guys. They're all really good plays, but he's close to the front, so he could get up there and dominate if it's, you know, hard to, to pass here, which sometimes it can be. But, you know, he also has further to fall if something goes wrong. So, I don't know. Like you said, he, he could probably go for the win here, but he, he doesn't have to go for points. I think he's safe enough, but we'll, we'll see. So, yeah. Cash, but not priority. Yep. Next up, we have Haley Deegan. Uh, pretty cool to be qualifying inside the top seven, but not for DFS. Yeah, exactly. You got, you got a fader here. You can cheer for her. You can bet on her to win the race, and she did really good in her Xfinity. Like yeah, she she's kind of heating up. Yeah, she she held her own there, but I, I don't know. 67, it, it's risky. So I will she, say the confidence is as high as it's ever been. Yes, absolutely. So bet top five. Pretty cool, pretty, pretty. I, I don't know. I, I don't, I wonder what the odds are, but I just feel like that would be something that could hit, right? Yeah, and that true. might have plus money attached to it. Uh, Parker Kligerman, 8,400. It's not the greatest price tag, but he's had some decent rides the last couple of times out. Yeah, I think it's a GPP. It looks like yeah. he's going to finish pretty much around where he starts. So, yeah. Um, not much. I don't know. I don't really like him on the mile and a half. Yeah. Okay. Super Fair speedways, enough. short tracks, roads. Yep. Road courses, mile and a half. I I think this the team has a hard time keeping up with the with the better with the higher higher uh, higher um, money money driven teams. Uh, well, next up we have Stuart Friesen, Halmar Friesen, eight ninety two. Not bad. Um, I know he's going to be aggressive, and he's always a driver that's going to take different pitch drives. Yep. Yep. So I, I think you can put them in cash here. I think they're going to try to try to to win this race. Definitely. Uh, I think he's okay on this track style. So mm -hmm. yeah, entire wear. So yeah, yep. I, I feel good with him in cash. Yep. Same. I, I definitely agree here. I'm going to have a decent amount of freeze and I think it's a top five upside and you get some place differential. Uh, something that isn't really there with Ekis. Ekis, you kind of need some laps led uh, with freezing. You kind of have like a five you know, finishing position inside the top five and then a couple of place differential points. Next up, Chase Purdy, 7,300. This is I a borderline fade. Struggle with this one. Yeah, I think yep. I'm out. Yep. I'd so, rather play Tyler Ingram, but the yeah. practice times concern me. Yes. So, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Derek Krause, I, I don't know. He, again, the, I think the three of these, like GPP if you want to, but I think they're going backwards. I would play of any of them Tyler Ankrum, I guess. Yes, I agree. If if you were to play one. Yes. John Hunter Nemechek, I assume the absolute chalk tomorrow. Um I wouldn't necessarily say so. He's he's had some struggles on this track, hasn't been completely friendly to him, but Yeah, only ninth. And he's Nashville. and he's 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 kind of he's in the cup car. He's uh, filling in for Bubba Wallace who's suspended, so I mean, that's going to take away mm -hmm. some of his attention also. Sure, sure. Um, I know they're – I know they're – they won a championship, right? And if you think I, – I don't know. I kind of feel like his main focus is going to be this race, and it's just whatever happens in the cup race is extra. Right. Because uh, – you got to remember they were the favorites dead on favorites to win the championship last year and lost it. Like I think in the last five laps to Zane Smith. Yeah. Right. So there's a sour taste in the mouth. I, I can't imagine he's not going to do everything possible to make this top four. So I, I kind of, I kind of got to go all in on that. And if it, if it burns me, it burns me. I don't know. Yeah. I think you got to pick between Zane Smith and yeah. John Hernemachek. Those are your, your choices yeah. there. Yep. I think for DFS purposes, I might go John Hunter Nemechek. Um, next up, we have Colby Howard, 7,200s, kind of an elevated price tag for the starting position. Yeah, he's, he's going to finish around where he starts, so yeah. I don't really see a ton of upside there. A little yeah. bit of floor, nothing super special. Correct. Caden Honeycutt in the 30 on point motorsports, 6,200. Decent price, but again, he's... he's Probably going to finish in the top 20, but I don't expect anything spectacular here. Kaz, Grala, and Brett Holmes? Um, Grala is a decent play, but I just haven't don't like his average here mm -hmm. in on similar tracks. But Brett Holmes right. is has been decent, 
a practice in the 30s a little concerning, but maybe they're just fooling around with stuff and actually got it right for qualifying. So 7K, um, I, I think if you need some plays in that 7K range, like he's probably one of the safest ones. Yeah, I feel better with Holmes, and I don't know about that practice time either, but he's raced pretty well lately, so I'm, I think I might ride the form. Ty Majeski locked into the championship. I imagine it's keep keep it keep the car on the track and not try to be too aggressive, right? No, I, I don't think they're worth this Thor Sport. They've got backup trucks. I think he's going to go for the win here. He's second fastest in practice, mm -hmm. um, finished okay. 10th overall, has, I think, at least 8 to 10 place differential points and could potentially lead this. So I, I really like him here. Yeah, you might get a discount. You, know, you definitely get a discount from Nemechek, but you might get an ownership discount too mm -hmm. um, from Nemechek, or unless people are just looking at the game logs and they see that he won. <laughs> I mean, like, oh, this guy just won, you know, so we'll see but uh, how that shakes out tomorrow. And we'll segue that into join the Discord, and we'll be able to give you all that updated information. You can find that on our website at fsidfs.com or on our Twitter handle at fsi underscore DFS for some of those little tidbits. Next up, we have Corey Heim at 10K uh, 51 truck starting 19. He's better than starting at 19th, but he's had some really good races. He's he's won some yeah. races. He's some bad races. So GPP. Yeah, uh, forever GPP. He, he's turning into the the he's Chandler Smith Jr. Chandler Smith, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or Brandon Jones, like or yeah, Kurt Busch. They're all the same mold. Yeah, funny that they're all on the same teams too. Uh, Gibbs, Toyota, <laughs> they seem to find those kind of guys. Uh, Matt Crafton, Thor Sport. I actually like this play. Yeah, this sneaky right here. Yeah, 88, 86, 100. I love the price tag. Eighth in practice. I mean, he has nothing to race for other than pride, but he's got a lot of experience here, and I think he's decent at this style and with tire wear. So, absolutely. And uh, he finished 10th at Nashville. Um, I like that track in comparison. And yeah, I think Crafton definitely going to be in some cores tomorrow. Uh, Timmy Hill, uh, 6,500. I, I, I think he's playable. Yeah. Yeah, I think if you need like somebody in the six K range, yeah. like he he works. Yep. Yeah, definitely this favorite of the six K bunch. Um next up we have Carson Hosevar. Still looking for his first win, right? He did, yeah, he, he fell off after he got hurt. Yeah. It's unfortunate. He was really heating up at that time too. I, I think, you know, eighty eight's a, a decent price, but I think he can at least get up into the top 15. So there's a little bit of place differential there. So I think yeah. he's got some floor. I would love to see him at Kyle Busch. Man, what a tandem that would be. Kyle Busch Motorsports and Hosevar. Make it happen. All right, Grand and Finger, I'll let you have the floor. I, I just think he's got the most to – he's got to win. He's so far yeah. behind. He was fifth in practice, um, you know, qualifying – I don't know if there's a little like wiggle or something, but he, he definitely is better than a 23rd place truck here. His overall, he's got a lot of experience at this track. His composite average with similar tracks in tire wear 6.5, which is one of the best ones here, probably in the top five. So definitely think he can get up into the top 10. So with the place differential and outside shot to win this, I love it. Yeah, absolutely. Next up, we have Jack Woods, 6,300. GPP. I think he, he can maybe get into the top 20, but that's about it. Tanner Gray, 7,700? 7, Seventh in practice, 17th overall. I think there's about um, potentially 10 place differential points here. 7,700 is a good price. Like it. Yeah, I think he is the cash play outside of one more player that we'll talk about. He's kind of like that secondary cash and GPP pivot, you know? Um does race really well, David Gillian racing the 15 truck, really good truck. So definitely in on gray, probably going to be one of the heavier own guys on the slate. Next up is Blaine Perkins. I don't mind Blaine. No, no, I think he's going to finish where he starts. 5K, yep. safe play. Plug him in. It's the salary. The salary really makes this play right here. Dean Thompson, boom or bust by definition. Yeah, but um, he actually has some pretty good numbers with the composite average with track style and tire wear. So I'm okay, I'm okay with him. I think he's, you know, I'd rather save the 900 and play Perkins, but um, if Agreed. you know you already have Perkins in your lineup, I don't think Dean Thomas is a bad one. Agreed. He is live to blow his tire and, and ruin his day in five, five laps 
or he runs inside the top 15 all day and you're like, crap, I should have played Dean Thompson. It's it's one or the other. Uh, next up, we have Lawless Allen, 5,500. Uh, practice time scare you at all? Usually typically a good value. Yeah, he, he's a little – I think he's a little bit worse than Dean Thompson. I think they're like similar plays here, so – yeah, yeah. And, uh, it doesn't doesn't scare me because they could have just been f- figuring things out or whatever. Just but it just I look at the nineteen point five more than I look at the thirty five. We have Stefan Parsons and Chad Chastain. No, and Chad I believe is Ross's brother, but yep. like he's he's not the the same driver. So um, you know I I can't look at the name and think okay he's going to be like great. So sure. Next up, we have Max Gutierrez uh, Arca, correct? Yes. And, uh, and he's actually, I think he had like a top 10 earlier this season. Like he actually. Nashville. Broke, yeah, he broke a slate. And like mm-hmm. you said, that's a, a similar track here. So 15th overall composite average. I'm not really worried about the practice time or the qualifying position here. This um, is Tommy Joe Martin's truck, right? No, Austin Wayne self. Okay. The other cowboy. Yep. Yep. <laughs> the other one of our favorite cowboy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he finished eighth at that Nashville track, started 36th that day. A lot of comparables to what we're about to experience here at Homestead. I like where you have him as your cash play. Um, yep, him, Tanner Gray, your 7K plays, and and then your 9K in finger. I think that's just a real solid core right there. Uh, Spencer Boyd, 4,700. Any love? Um. I like him better than the next three guys. I agree. <laughs> I don't know. Still, I don't know. But L- love, I don't think is the word that's going to flow out of my mouth when I'm talking about him. But correct. <laughs> All right, Nick Leitz, Mason Maggio, Brandon Poole. No, no. I mean, this glory to God trucks. I, I don't know how far. I just see these people falling off the the laps. I think isn't the 33 one of the worst resume trucks? And I just uh, see yeah like practice times and they're their overall finishes and it just Brandon Poole like maybe uh he he has looked a little bit better recently but just like once they've kind of collapsed and just went with one team for glory to god it, they, it was kind of gotten better but it's still not where it needs to be all right and Tyler Hill I have to look and see if he actually twi- tried to qualify or not uh, I don't have that here um I don't have any times for them but it's it's just I, I look at the practice time and this overall finish and I know it's a decent truck and I, I can't imagine that he's going to uh, fall off you know finish dead last with like some of the other people here I, I think he can get into the top twenty five so I, I really like this probably at fifty seven hundred. All right, that'll wrap things up. Thank you for joining us. Please like this video, comment below with any questions you may have. You can follow me on Twitter at TKNation47 or at MegaRoo31 or on our Twitter handle at FSI underscore DFS or on our website, FSIDFS.com. You can find us in those locations. Thank you and stay tuned for our Xfinity uh, breakdown for the Xfinity race.